Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting question from algebraic equations. Left hand side, we have got 5 plus x times 5 minus x. Right hand side, it is exponential function, 4 factorial, raised to the power x square. Given that x belongs to real number, we have to find the value of x. So let's get started by writing few identities. Let me write what is n factorial first. So we know that it is the product of all the numbers, all the positive numbers from 1 to n. So 4 factorial can be written as 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. It is 12 times 2. So value will be 24. This is for our RHS. Now come to LHS. So I will write one algebraic formula or identity. It is a plus b times a minus b. Difference of two squares identity a square minus b square. So which we will use in LHS here. So let's apply. So I will be writing our equation 5 plus x times 5 minus x equal to 4 factorial power is x square. Now left hand side will be 5 square minus x square. Using difference of two squares formula equal to 4 factorial is 24. Power will be x square. Now 5 square is 25 minus x square. This value will be 24 raised to the power x squared. Now we have to solve this equation. Let me write here 25 minus x square equal to 24 raised to the power x square. Now I will use substitution. So I will consider our LHS 25 minus x square suppose it is equal to a so from here i can write the value of x square it will be 25 minus a which i will apply in the rhs and left hand side as per our substitution it is a so let's write our equation in terms of a So left hand side is a, right hand side is 24 raised to the power 25 minus a. Now I will write one property from exponents. It is p power q minus r. We can write p power q over p power r. So I will apply this identity or property for our RHS. So A will be equal to 24 power 25 divided by 24 power A. Now as we all know 24 power A is exponential function which cannot be equal to 0. So I can cross multiply. So A times 24 power A will be equal to 24 power 25. A times 24 power A will be equal to 24 power 25. Now we know one important property of lambda w function. If we have one product form k times e raised to the power k and we are taking lambda function then this value will be equal to k. So we will try to make our equation in this form first. So I will write, I will begin with 24 itself. Can we write 24 as e raised to the power ln 24? And then whole power is a. Right hand side is 24 power 25. We know that e raised to the power ln x, it is always equal to 
x. Now a power b power c property, it is equal to a power b times c. Let's use this exponent property. So I will take multiplication of these two powers. So a times e raised to the power a ln 24. This will be equal to 24 power 25. Now if we will try to match with our result or properties result, then it is missing with ln 24. So let's multiply both sides with ln 24. Let me write here ln 24. This side also ln 24. Now I will be writing our equation in appropriate form. So it will be a ln 24 times e raised to the power a ln 24. Now it is matching. This is k equal to 24 power 25 times ln 24. Now I will take both sides lambda w function. So w, w this side also. So left hand side I will write k as per our properties result. So a ln 24 will be our LHS and RHS will be 24 power 25 product with ln 24 with lambda w function. So let me write here a ln 24 this will be our lhs rhs will be lambda w function 24 raised to the power 25 times ln 24 now we have to simplify our rhs first so i will be writing 25 as 24 raised to the power 24 plus 1 times ln 24. Now using exponent property, can we write 24 power 24 times 24 power 1 which is 24 times ln 24. Now I can write this 24 as e raised to the power ln 24 and then whole power is 24. Here I can write 24 ln 24. Now I will write lambda w function. Let me write this term first 24 ln 24 times e raised to the power a power b whole power c it will be product of 24 and ln 24. Now you can see again it is k times e raised to the power k. So can we write k only? So this value will be 24 ln 24. Left hand side is a ln 24. Now we will divide both sides by ln 24, ln 24, so this will be over. What is left? A equal to 24. Now A was our substitution, so A was 25 minus x square which is coming out 24. So from here I can write x square will be 25 minus 24 which is 1. So x square is equal to 1. Conclusion is x will be equal to plus minus square root 1 which is plus minus 1. Let's verify our result whether it is satisfying our equation or not. So I will write our equation 
check x equal to plus 1. Left hand side I will be writing 5 plus 1 times 5 minus 1. It will be equal to 4 factorial is 24 and power of 1. See it will be 1 square. So this is 6, this is 4. Right hand side it is 24 power 1 square is 1. So 24 equal to 24. That means it is true. Now let us consider x is equal to negative 1. So I will be writing x equal to minus 1. I will write 5 minus 1 LHS times 5 plus 1. This will be equal to 24 raised to the power minus 1 whole square. So this is 4, this is 6, right hand side it will be 24 minus 1 square is plus 1, 24 equal to 24. That means minus 1 is also verified. So our final solution for this exponential challenge, it is plus minus 1. This is the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.